All right, uh, June 22nd, I uh, went out to a rummage sale and then a yard sale uh, that was nearby. And then uh, yesterday I went to a Goodwill and got some VHS tapes. I'll show you those in a second. And then uh, last weekend, um, did a, a few yard sales on Friday and Saturday. Uh, found a few things and um, a couple of items going to highlight right here. Ricardo Beverly Hills accessory bag, uh, brand new. A vintage toddler Mets jacket from the 1980s. A pair of vintage mechanics overalls. Then other than those, I just got a, a few hats and that was about it. So I'll start off with the uh, Goodwill. We got two Thomas and Friends tapes. Um, I just got a, a Thomas tape a couple of weeks ago. I listed that and then that sold immediately. So I found a couple more of those. Um, two Dora the Explorer tapes. So try those. And then what I've been looking for for a while is some Barney tapes. And I finally found some Barney tapes. I've been searching every yard sale and Goodwill uh, for these Barney tapes, and this is the first time I've even seen them, so I grabbed those. Then at the uh, rummage sale, uh, two rolls of wallpaper, a vintage uh, wallpaper for a child's room. There's one open roll and then one sealed roll. And three more hats, a vintage John Deere hat. This is uh, similar to those other uh, trucker hats that I got. Uh, it's from the 1980s or 70s. And it's marked Louisville Manufacturing Company. So this is uh, quite valuable. And one that says Coyote. And an Indianapolis Colts hat. Now, a lot of these hats, I'm going to clean them up and uh, just store them away and stockpile them. I'm listing them um, just a few at a time. So, like last weekend, I picked up uh, several hats. So, I just kind of stockpile them and then uh, pull them out one or two at a time and uh, list them. And a set of appliance covers. And they're dated 1984. Right there in the corner it says 1984. There's uh, four appliance covers. And one hot pad. And at the uh, rummage sale, uh, four cups for these vintage cups. But on the lookout for vintage cups. And this is dated 1985. It's got some nice 80s graphics on it. Uh, next one is the John Deere mug. Does not have a date, but it's uh, vintage. And a Hallmark mug. Once again, no date, but it says uh, made in Japan. So that probably dates from the uh, 1980s. And a uh, Mickey Mouse mug. Once again, no date, but it's definitely vintage uh, from the 80s. So those are uh, some nice uh, vintage mugs there. And at the uh, yard sale that was uh, close by to the uh, rummage sale, uh, three Campbell's mugs. They're dated 1997. For 25 cents each. Right now, I want to start cleaning those appliance covers. 
Um, they're quite dirty and a lot of spots on them. So I'm going to soak them in OxyClean for a few hours. And I want to uh, hook the eyelets on a piece of wood uh, to keep them out of the water. I don't want them to warp. Now I'm just going to top it off with with some more OxyClean and let them soak for a few hours. All right, uh, more stuff from uh, this weekend, uh, June 23rd. Uh, so yesterday on Saturday, um, Flyers hat and a Disney hat. Then I stopped at Goodwill and another Thomas tape and an estate sale. A nice uh, American Airlines uh, brand new bag. A nice uh, travel bag. And three more rolls of vintage wallpaper. Two uh, handmade uh, vintage uh, hot pads. Uh, they're all hand sewn. And a Anderson window uh, op operating a crank. A replacement part for an Anderson window from 1994. That's uh, new in the box. That was only a dollar. Oops, and I forgot uh, the NRA hat. I collected a couple more of these uh, a couple weeks ago. And I think I'm going to uh, put all of those into one lot. And I came across this as well. Little uh, camping stool and cooler all in one uh, it looks like it's uh, brand new never been used it's just a little bit dirty uh, it opens up right here uh, it's insulated inside so this would be great for a baseball game or a sporting event and it folds right up and you got your uh, cooler, a handle, and a strap. All right, uh, let's take a look at these uh, appliance covers. They've been hanging here for a couple of days, uh, drying. Uh, they cleaned up really nice. One of them just has a few spots in the front. I may wash it one more time, uh, see if I can get these uh, spots out. Now the hot pad has a little discoloration on it. But that's okay, I don't think that's a big deal. But they came out really nice. So I've had them hanging here for a couple of days in front of a fan to dry them out. Uh, June 30th I uh, went to a flea market this morning uh, this is an annual uh, flea market uh, that's held every year um, last year I wasn't able to get to it I was kind of busy and I wasn't able to get to it and uh, in the past uh, I may have gone to it uh, one time before went to it uh, this morning it was much smaller than I expected uh, but there was a few things and I got a few things there and then did the usual uh, local uh, yard sale routine and then uh, a couple days ago I went to a local uh, thrift store and um, got some uh, good stuff uh, there uh, it was the best stuff I found there at that little uh, thrift store so we'll go through all that okay we'll start off at the uh, things I got at the uh, local uh, small thrift store uh, some vintage wrapping paper, uh, Pocahontas, 101 Dalmatians, that's still sealed in the plastic, and a Barney uh, wrapping paper, and this uh, Winnie the Pooh, 
wrapping paper. And a Toy Story tablecloth. Then as soon as I walked into the uh, thrift store, I saw these. Two Smurf glasses from 1982. I spotted these immediately and grabbed those and put those up on the counter to check out. Now they've got some mineral staining on them. I'm in the process of trying to get that off with some vinegar. I think it's improved a little bit. I soaked them overnight once already and it's improved a little bit. I'm going to have to keep working on it to get the uh, mineral staining off of it. And this uh, crepe paper streamer. Okay, I was just about to leave the uh, thrift shop and uh, there was this uh, tin can in the corner and I leaned over and looked at it and um, I saw this a poster rolled up in this tin can and what looked like eyeballs on the uh, poster. So I pulled this poster out and I couldn't believe what I saw. A Muppets poster. From 1980. Uh, it's in a really good condition, except it's just uh, tightly curled up. I've got it uh, weighted down on both ends. So this one I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on and uh, figure out what the value of this is. I unroll this and I could not believe it. On uh, June 29th, that would be yesterday, uh, went out to three yard sales and some more hats. Um, this is PPL, this is a uh, local electric company. Another uh, trucker hat. This is Ford Trucks Hub Co. And these I could not believe. All right, take a quick look and see what you, if you can guess what this is about. The number 12. Any guesses yet? Randall Cunningham hats for the Eagles. So there's two of these. Uh, these were extremely dirty um, when I got them in yesterday, so I washed these immediately, and I'm only going to do one washing on these. Uh, they still got some just uh, soiling, but I'm just going to leave them in this condition. I don't want to risk uh, damaging them by washing them anymore. Uh, this uh, trucker head came out pretty clean. This one was just absolutely almost brown and that cleaned up extremely well it's still a little, little bit yellowed once again I'm just gonna leave it like that then uh, the next yard sale uh, vintage uh, women's hat a bucket hat and I saw this, I didn't recognize the name at all, but it seemed like a really nice hat. Um, and I looked at the tag. It's made by a company called Jite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it looked like a really nice hat. 
And both of these hats uh, were only 25 cents each, so I just grabbed both of these. And I looked this up later, and this hat is uh, quite valuable. There's only a few of them uh, listed on eBay. So this should do really well. Once again, I already cleaned these hats up a little bit. Uh, these are wool. This one, is, this one is wool. So I just did a light wipe inside and out. I didn't want to get it too wet. So this looked like a really nice hat. And then uh, it's actually a unisex hat. Uh, all right, then on to the uh, next yard sale. Uh, two Bibles. A uh, really nice uh, small one here. It's actually uh, a seminary Bible from Baptist Bible College. That's a local uh, college that has since been uh, renamed Clark Summit University. So this is from the class of 2005. And it's called an Ultra Trim Bible. And I've already did some uh, looking up on this. And I've already started a listing for this. And uh, this is uh, quite valuable. Um, there are only a few other ones uh, listed on eBay. And uh, even used ones are selling uh, for around $50. So I've already started a listing for that. I've drafted up a listing for that. I'm going to post that soon. And this one is just uh, the New Testament. Alright, the next item has a kind of a funny story to it. On Thursday, on my YouTube uh, homepage, a, a video came up from a channel that I've never seen before called Honestly Ophelia. And it's a, a girl that does reselling, and I decided to watch this video. And there was one particular item there. She was explaining uh, what this item was and uh, how much she uh, sold it for. And uh, oddly enough, um, the next day, I saw this uh, same item. A far side mug with two deers on it. I kind of vaguely remember this uh, cartoon from the 80s. On Gary Larson. And this girl was uh, going over what she sells on uh, eBay and Etsy. I believe she sold it on eBay. Uh, this exact same mug. And I saw it the next morning. It's strange. I had never seen these uh, mugs before. This uh, These uh, far side mugs. Now it does have some crazing on the bottom. I don't think that will affect it too much. Now, I've already cleaned it. Uh, used the barkeeper's friend. I learned that from... Uh, Real Nifty Vintage. Uh, it's another great channel if you want to watch that. And uh, it does a great job of uh, cleaning up porcelain and ceramics. But this exact same mug was on that uh, video that uh, girl was uh, selling. And this is uh, quite valuable. Alright, then we'll uh, jump on to the uh, flea market from this morning. Um, these uh, VHS tapes, um, oddly enough, another Thomas, uh, another Barney VHS. This one's in a clamshell case. This is a later uh, Barney tape that's in the clamshell case. Uh, Charlie Brown tape. Now, there's Thomas and Friends. I didn't notice it at the time, but it's mismatched. I usually check and make sure they're matched, uh, the inside and outside, but I missed it. But it doesn't really matter. I could sell the tape by itself and the case uh, separately. Someone may be looking for a, a case for their uh, particular uh, cassette. And um, I got another Thomas tape uh, last week that I missed again. For some reason, I didn't see that it was mismatched. And the... Uh, tape that was on the inside uh, was actually a early rare tape so I'll just that on that one other one I'll just uh, 
sell the tape by itself and the uh, case separately. Now, Dr. Seuss, I don't know anything about. I'll have to look these up. And the Charlie Brown, I'll have to look these up. Now, all these VHS tapes, I'll just uh, kind of store away, research them first, and then uh, put, list them. And then uh, one yard sale, uh, another Barney item. This was actually in a free bin at one yard sale. A Barney DVD. I didn't even know they made Barney v DVDs. From 2007. And this one yard sale, they had a bin full of free stuff, and this was in the bottom of the bin. So I've never even uh, seen a Barney DVD, so I'll have to see what that's worth. And then uh, at the flea market again this morning, um, a Thomas uh, little magazine, a little uh, book. Then these uh, two hats were from the flea market as well. A little trucker hat with a Ben and Jerry's on it. I'll have to look that up and see what that's worth. Uh, the tags kind of faded out. So I can't really... Uh, it's a, oh, it says made in China. So it might be a little bit of a later hat. But uh, Ben and Jerry's, that should be an interesting hat. Uh, Ping golf hat. It's in good shape. There were some other hats there at the flea market, but they were kind of uh, dirty and not really. I didn't really think they were worth anything. Then on to the uh, next yard sale. We got some fake fruit. And some gourds. I figured I could use these in some uh, photographs. Use these as uh, props and photographs. There's only a dollar for all these uh, fake fruit. Uh, some other people on uh, Etsy uh, use uh, props along with their items and, and photographs, so I'll use them for that. Another yard sale, another nice uh, travel bag. I'm um, experimenting with travel bags. Uh, I've sold two already. And this is another uh, like new one that's uh, never been used. I'm only picking them up if they're uh, like new or not been used. So this is in a really good shape. Uh, it just needs a cleaning. Uh, There's a brand called Forecast, but it's a nice uh, travel bag. So I'm experimenting with these uh, travel bags. Uh, they're just every yard sale, you see luggage. So I decided to start uh, picking up some of these uh, travel bags and see how they do. Uh, some of them are new and never used. So I've sold a couple so far. Um, so I get them for about $2 each and list them for about uh, $24.95 each. And then one thing for myself, a uh, new hat. I've been scrounging around for a new hat. So this is a nice uh, white hat. So I'll use that myself. And here are the uh, appliance covers. I did one extra washing on them with the OxyClean and these uh, spots improved quite a bit. They're still faintly visible. But these uh, cleaned up extremely well. Even this pot holder improved quite a bit in the second washing. This uh, spot improved quite a bit. So these came out really good. I might take a little bit of lacquer and uh, spray a little bit of lacquer on the wood here just to brighten up the wood a little bit. And then these will be ready to list. Once again, these are dated 1984. Now I wasn't going out specifically looking for appliance covers. These just happened to be at that uh, rummage sale a week ago. And they're only 25 cents for the whole bunch of them so it was almost a no-brainer just to grab them and uh, eventually uh, list these and uh, see how they do uh, 
uh, lately there's been uh, several glitches on eBay. Uh, everyone's been uh, dealing with them, and I came across one when trying to do this video. Uh, I couldn't uh, pull up my uh, sold listings. Uh, when I pulled up the sold listings, it was redirecting me to uh, someone's else active listing. So I couldn't uh, do a screen recording, uh, so I had to come up with a different uh, method to uh, show the uh, sold listings. So I just did uh, screenshots on the phone and then just imported the pictures to the computer and then uh, did a voiceover. Okay, the first item is this uh, Icon uh, computer travel bag. I've been experimenting with these uh, travel bags and this is the uh, first one. So I listed it for uh, $24.99 and uh, took an offer of $13.63. Uh, this was in excellent condition. Next up is the uh, Thomas tape that I listed. Uh, I listed this uh, and it's uh, sold within a couple of days uh, for $9.99 plus shipping. One pair of the uh, baby shoes. I picked these up for uh, two pair for a dollar. And they, uh, I listed uh, one pair on eBay and one pair on Etsy. And this is the pair from eBay. And it took $9 plus shipping. And a Budweiser beach towel with the uh, frogs on it. Uh, Budweiser. Uh, this is from the Super Bowl commercial in uh, 1985. And took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. And next is a thin line large print holy Bible. Uh, this I picked up at a one yard sale for 25 cents. And uh, sold within uh, one week uh, for $24.95 uh, plus shipping. And here is that uh, Ricardo uh, Beverly Hills uh, travel bag, uh, an accessory bag. Uh, this is a brand new, just needed a light cleaning. I found this at a, a rummage sale. I uh, still had the uh, stuffing paper inside and the uh, film on the mirror. So I just needed a light cleaning and it was ready for sale. And a uh, one of the uh, trucker hats, um, uh, Mack truck hat from the 70s and 80s. Uh, as soon as I listed this, I had immediate offers coming in. I listed it for $175 with the best offer. And one offer came in at $57, and I took that. And earlier in this video, I had the Anderson window unit operator. Uh, this sold within one day. Uh, there were only a couple other ones I listed on eBay, and I undercut uh, another listing by $10. So $48.97 plus shipping. And one sale on Etsy. Etsy has been extremely slow. A, a Barney a pillowcase for a $14.95 plus shipping. All right, just a, a quick update on Offer Up. I was trying Offer Up to liquidate some small items from eBay and some other small items that I found. Unfortunately, Offer Up is belly up. So I may be uh, calling it quits soon on uh, this Offer Up. And try another site, maybe Mercari or some other site. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.